Hi Libra, it's Evelyn from Twin Flames 3344. I'm going to pull some cards for you guys. I already pre-shuffled, so I'm just going to shuffle a few more times and then we'll get going to see what we have. This will be for Sun, Moon, and Rising and for the Feminine, the Mars, and the Mass on the Venus as well. So for everyone watching, the best and highest good of all is concern. What do we need to know? What do we need to... What do we need to learn for Libra today? For the best and highest good of all these concerns. <sighs> Libra, today is December 17, 2019. So first card out for you guys is the Ten of Cups reversed. The challenge is the Six of Wands reversed. Um, Virgo just had that in the center of the read. The foundation is the judgment, which is upright. And the recent past is the Hermit reversed. Crowning is the Seven of Wands reversed. What's coming up for you guys is the Four of Pentacles reversed. How you see yourself is the Eight of Cups upright. What's around you or how others might see you is the King of Cups reversed. And then we have, sorry, I can't unmove that for you so you can see it better. Um, the blocks that you might need to work on or clear have to do with the King of Swords. Let's move the sister a little bit. Actually, I just want to move this guy so it's fine. Okay, better. And you still can't see it all. All right, and then we end up with the death card here at the end. So I do a little bit of a, um, a hangman configuration. So what's connecting you to what will be hanging in limbo is the devil reversed. And what will be hanging in limbo at the end of this read is the six of swords reversed. And then I pull another card for you guys, but you won't see that till I get through the read for you. We'll pull that at the end. And yeah, and then what's underneath the bottom of the deck is the Three of Wands reverse, which has to do with looking back at the past or living in the past and somebody taken off with the goods. There was some truth that came in. Um, I will do a little configuration there too, so to give you a backstory on what's been going on. All right. All right, so here's the underlying energy. And we have the Knight of Cups reverse, which was upright in Virgo's read and the underlying energy, very interesting. And then the, the Strength cards reversed here. And then we have the Knight of Swords upright, the Seven of Swords upright, and then the Three of Wands reversed. So there could be some, some jealousy or insincerity here, and it can, rep, it can be some jealousy on the behalf of a Leo energy. Doesn't have to be a Leo, but definitely can be. We can be, have water signs here too. We have, um, we just don't have Earth represented, but all the other signs are represented here. Um, there's some kind of message of truth that comes in about someone who is lying, cheating, or stealing, or sneaking out the back. It could be a ghosting scenario as well, but definitely could be stealing or just sneaking out when no one's looking. Tired of living in the past or looking back. So that's the underlying energy. With the recent past, we have the Hermit upside down here. And so it may be time to come out of isolation or over isolating is making you go nuts because you're doing nothing but thinking about the past or keep going over it and over it, you know, about what kind of um, sneaky behavior there was, what was actually the truth. Was there a truth that came out before about some jealousy issues or insincerity issues? Or this, or a Leo energy. This could be ego death as well. 
of a Knight of Cups reversed, right? Being insincere or refusing to be or give love or receive love. And then we have um, the foundation here is the judgment. So some kind of judgment might have come, in out, come out recently or an announcement or a wake-up call to action, right? Or a call, a big call. But it's regarding the past, right? This has everything to do with the past and not going forward, not looking forward. The central energy has to do with an end of an emotional or family cycle. So either it could be a family breakup and there's this is an announcement of a divorce or some kind of judgment in court as well, um, challenged by uh, failure or bad news coming in, right? So if the bad news was not for you, right? But this is in your favor. This could be your family though. You might've been in a suit with your family and that makes sense if it was a divorce where judgment was in your favor, the challenge being keeping things under the radar or just feeling like a failure or bad news coming in. And then crowning the read is um, feeling defenseless in the situation, but maybe no longer caring and walking away. This is Libra energy. So you see yourself as the eight of cups, which is about walking away from all this crap that's all jumbled up and messed up and um, you know the cups have fallen in all different directions and there might be some, a slug here or something I don't know what it is some kind of weird animal or poop, this could be poop on the grass too which I actually brought up in the read today uh, but just walking away from all that crap literally and going within so if he's doing that then then the Libra no longer cares about feeling defenseless they're learning how to let go of that stuff this is coming up in the near future is the Four of Pentacles reversed, so letting, learning to let go. Even if it's money that they were fighting for, now maybe letting go. And then this is what's around the Libra or how others might see them. So this could be someone who's around them. Like I said, it doesn't have to be Libra. But this is someone who, you know, the King of Cups reversed can be manipulative. They can be over-emotional or alcoholic issues, right? So the you, Libra may literally have someone who has alcohol issues or depression issues around him, or that's his own issue or how other people see him. And then this is the blocks they need to clear has to do with always, you know, being so, so staunch, truthful, right? This is the King of Swords is, has, has a lot of integrity, right? He's always in his truth, but it's coming up as the block that you need to clear. So it has to do with being too much so, like there's no love here. Right, it's all about the truth and no love. So there, you know, you need to pull back on that a little bit. So it's about being truthful, but not like being militant when you're dealing with family, right? And then we have the death at the end here, which has to do with, I mean, it could be, it, this with the devil there. This could be some kind of unnatural death. So it could be some, yeah, unnatural death. But more so, I'm just getting the ending of this this relationship or the situation, this family or relationship situation. Um, and this is about, you know, the peaking out of the codependency, the, the addiction situation. And there is death or ending here. It could be a complete transformation or a transition. Um, but the, it peaks out before it actually goes into rehab mode. So the double reverse for me can be both. It can be the worst of it, and then it can be going into rehab. But here, there's no peace. This is someone who needs to find peace. They're looking for it. So after that, what came up was the seven of pentacles so this is there's no peace here we're unable to find peace but somebody's reaping rewards and then we have the emperor here so somebody's happy here so let's see we're going to clarify a little bit here but we have the emperor at the end it looks like they're reaping rewards because the energies before that are not they're not finding peace they're in need of finding peace it could be an emperor who steps down from their position too um, to reap rewards, even if it's not like a, you know, a ton of money. Maybe someone who wasn't planning to do that because they're used to having a lot of money decides to retire. And not sure if they can live on that, but making it do and being happy about it. So why do we have the three of wands in the recent past? Sorry, I can't see that fully, but why do we have the three of wands in the recent past? Okay, this is somebody standing up for themselves. 
to others, learning to stand up for themselves. Maybe they had to live in the past a little bit in order to get past the past. So looking back at your wounds and things like that. And um, as I'm turning the card, there's a connection here between the cards here. All right. And this has to do with not expressing your feelings. No energetic exchange, holding back. This is paralleling that this stick is this, hold, the holding back of feelings and not feeding into this attack, like not reacting, not overreacting. Learning how not to do that. So you have to go back to the past in order to learn how to deal with situations without, without blowing up or without reacting. And there's definitely, this is coming up next, so there could be a third party situation coming up that's coming together. Okay, so I'm gonna put that back in. See what comes up, if it comes up later in the read. So we have the, let's just go forward, the 10 of cups in the center of the read, and this just popped out, so there's definitely a split. And then we have somebody inspired to do something new. So this is the done, the split, the lies, cutting through the BS and now inspired to do something else. So the family or emotional cycle is done. It's like the Libra is ready to go on to the next thing right away. And there's a four of, of wands there. So it's ready for their new house or a move, or they already have this, or building a house could be as well. Letting go of all their responsibilities. Um, maybe just working on a house, right? Without going to work. But then there's these two coming up. It's like, and then going to save someone from being in prison or anxiety, feeling trapped with their hands tied, but it's mostly a self-imposed prison. Could literally be prison as well, but he's coming to save this person. All right, so why do we have the six of wands reversed then as the challenge? Because the queen of swords has something to say about it. And maybe Virgo, uh, Libra wants to stay under the radar because of this situation. And if he comes forward to this prisoner, which could be the Queen of Swords, she's talking. She talks a lot about things, and this is about talking about no longer overworking, no longer aligning with desires. That it's time to stop all that because whatever they've been doing is not working. So it's like Libra wants to stay under the radar, and this could be Libra as well. Um, they and it could be feeling like a failure too, embarrassment of being out there. But ultimately, well, let's see how it goes here. So why do we have then the seven of wands up top there reversed, feeling defenseless to the energies and or attacks? Why does Libra have that in the crowning position? So again, this ties back to the past over here. And it has to do with Leo energies as well, which came up right here, okay? So Leo obviously has a big roar. They could have Sagittarius in their chart as well. So it's a double fire sign, which came up in my read today as well for the Divine Masculine. So they could have double fire and the Libra could feel very attacked or overwhelmed by this fire energy all the time. So it's about clearing the past about that. And then suffering in silence and keeping to themselves. All right, so now letting go with the Four of Pentacles. Four of Pentacles reversed has the Page of Pentacles reversed and the High Priestess. So that has to do with, um, it could be a child who's in need of help with their homework or whatever. Homework, um, money, opportunities. Maybe they need to help with finding their first job. Um, and the High Priestess is there, which can be a secret or intuitive abilities. Maybe a child needs help with their, intu and they are intuitive and they need help with that. Or it could be an opportunist. It could be someone who never learns their lesson and really needs to go within and learn how to tap into their intuition. They're letting go. They're letting go. Letting go of holding on to stuff and money, superficial things, and learning how to tap into their intuition. This is how Vir um, Libra sees, sees themselves. There could be a little Virgo in Libras too because they're next door neighbors. Um, Eight of Cups. Why is Libra Eight of Cups? All right, eight of Cups because there's been a separation or a broken heart and an awakening. All right, so it's definitely walking away and going within after separation and or heartbreak in the aftermath 
of sudden events, epiphanies, whatever it is, whatever it happened already. And here's the Queen of Cups coming up as well. Right on the King of Cups reversed, so that could definitely be how Libra's being seen, because now Libra's coming up to look back at the Queen of Cups. And here's what's coming up next is the Ace of Swords reversed, which is negative talk, spying. It could be mental status issues. You know, things like bipolar and autism can come up here as well. But it's really someone who's very immature and mean with their words or silent treatment, spying, all those kind of things. And here's options or opportunities, but it's also synchronicities. Um, not having to say a word, because all they have to do is look at their synchronicities, and that tells them their, their guidance or their answers. Also, it could be see, seeing the one, but negative self-talk. Like, this keeps standing out. The one keeps standing out to the Libra, except they have negative self-talk about it. They keep seeing synchronicities about her, but this is the the negative self-talk, avoiding it, because they're, they're in fear. So why is the, um, the King of Cups reversed then? Why is the King of Cups reversed around the Libra, or is that them? Because of the, the world. This can also be the Seal of Divine Feminine. But this has to do with completion and coming full circle, or the world at large. And here is the an offer of love coming from the world or from the divine feminine. And he may be shy, or me he may be depressed about his situation coming out of something. Cause there's obviously an ending to a family situation here. And what's coming up right after them is the Ace of Wands. And the Four of Cups reversed, someone wanting to start over in love but offering sex or inspiration. This is like, it came up in the read today too, like exchanging love for sex. This could be Libra. Either one could be Libra. Libra could be offering love and someone else offering them sex and then vice versa. And this could be their ex-partner that they're leaving, offering them sex and them love and them splitting up. Or it can be them off, someone else offering them love and them offering sex because they just got out of a breakup. So there'd be a couple of different scenarios there. But these are coming up too. So there's an imbalance in a relationship. This is definitely a breakup. Okay? So this could be too, someone wanting to continue, like, I'm sorry, you can't see that. This could be someone wanting to continue to just have sex as friends. And this is this person saying, uh, I'll, I'll offer you love, but we're not having sex anymore. Like, they could just stay friends. But this person wants to be, like, get have sex and if they're just broken up. It could be that situation, or this could be the new person, somebody being offered love, and the other person just out of a relationship, just offering sex for now because I just broke up. And here's a third party, and here's the two of cups. So it's definitely destined to happen. Okay. There's a lot of nice energy there. And here's help also to help the other person try to find peace in moving away. So this could be a partner who's there. If they're breaking up, they still could maintain friends or they're trying to maintain um, being nice, or at least one person's trying to maintain the niceties for the kids, perhaps, that now we're going back and forth. The King of Swords. Why is that the block for Libra? Okay, because they need to get over, because they get, maybe they get over emotions too quickly. They don't really consider their emotions. Right? And that blocks their good fortune. Okay? Death. It's a painful ending. And trying to get over emotions or not using their emotions at all. That's the block because the King of Swords doesn't use their emotions. They're very cutthroat about things. But saying that that's not serving them. It's only causing them pain. And rejection. So why do we have death here at the end? Why is there death at the end here with the devil reversed? Why? For Libra. <sighs> okay, this kind of came up in a, in a little bunch. So there's the queen of pentacles reversed, the chariot reversed, and then somebody's free. So this looks, doesn't look like a death. It looks like a breakup of a relationship. Right? It, everything's too broken. She's reversed. She's either ungrounded, losing money, just unhappy in general. 
um, and somebody else is free at last. This is after sitting in uncomfortable emotions, finally free. Okay. And this, it's just a broken down relationship here. There could be Aries and we have Aries, Capricorn, Scorpio here, um, Cancer, Aries. I see that already, and there's more Aries there. What else do we have? We have Virgo in the recent past. We also have Aquarius. And then at the end here, why do we have the Emperor all happy now all of a sudden? Because that's the devil. <laughs> He's Capricorn. It doesn't have to be a bad person. It can just be a Capricorn person. But it could be addictions and codependencies. Um, there's definitely some liar, cheater, thief energy here. So it doesn't look good. So this emperor coming out at the end looks all positive, reaping rewards. But he's actually the one who's been taking from others. And there may have been a death. Or this is also can be stealing in the 5D. Stealing somebody else's peace. It doesn't have to be a death. It can be, though. This is about letting go to fix things up. This could be spending a little money for a funeral also. Um, could be someone trying to steal an inheritance from somebody who passed away. Um, that the money was meant for their funeral or the money was meant to fix up the house or fix or repair something or repair relationships between the kids. But it looks like this emperor is trying, and this could be also just stealing energy from a twin too, if you're in a twin flame relationship, because you connect in the 5D, or just running away from someone. This is like, you know, getting away with murder. It doesn't have to be literal murder, but it can be, this can definitely be some kind of unnatural event that happened. It could be an accident, or it's just the end of a relationship with, with codependencies and addictions. Maybe stealing was the addiction. It could be stealing, cheating, running away from your problems. Um, stealing peace from others who have very little. And what's coming up after that is this end of the family. The end of the family situation and trying to recover financially. And then the, somebody's happy on their own, though. So it's good. Oh, look at that. Really beautiful at the end. This can be um, someone with their kids or someone in a soulmate or twin flame relationship coming together. Here's the King of Cups. Up right now. So it works out in the end. Very nice. All right, the bottom of the deck ends up being um, the Magician. Somebody's manifesting Libra. I wanted to pull you a numerology card. Someone might have needed to totally, you know, like, you're dead to me. That could be a parent to a child or a child to a parent. You're dead to me. That could be the unnatural ending um, because the emperor was stealing from others or not doing things in a legal or moral way and someone wasn't agreeing with it. That's probably Libra. And Libra is um, going to have a happy ending in, in the end. So it looks very good. Things are turning around. So Libra... What is your numerology advice? All right, that came out pretty clearly. Persevere, and it's very green. So, so stay in your heart and persevere, and it is the emperor too. So the emperor could also be just Capricorn person who is dealing with thieves, okay? So if this is just a Capricorn emperor, this is coming up emperor too, is saying to persevere if you're the emperor. So the emperor could be the king of cups which in the positive sense. But if it has to do with addictions and things like that, this could be somebody around the emperor because the emperor is coming up as the positive energy here with Persevere. Um, these two are coming up right close behind, so I want to bring them out because they're both orange with this the, sac the sacral chakra, so self-love and self-discipline. A lot about self, you see. Self-love, self-discipline, spiritual discipline to, to have self-love. This being 61, which is that liar, cheater, thief card, so it's just inherently a card of risk. So it's taking a risk to love yourself first, even if, even if it means disconnecting from family members, okay? Self-discipline. Look what else came up, 41. That came up big time in my Divine Masculine read. It was all about the 41, which is the Ace of Cups. I had like 
five or six um, 41s, I think, in my read today. And the day adds up today to 41. So there you go. You got the heart and the sacral energies here. The bottom of the deck is rebirth with the blues. 16 is the tower. So tower coming in to cause the rebirth. And then from Romance Angels, let's see what we have for you. The Libra. Some last words of advice for Libra. Libra, Libra, Libra. Libra. Libra, Libra. Right. Too many thoughts. Libra, Libra, Libra. Oh, that one flipped out for sure. That's two. So the bottom of the deck is religious factors. So there may have been some differences between people in this relationship that's coming together. Um, it doesn't have to be religious. It can be, it can be your culture, your age, any major differences. And the two cards that come out for you are finances and career. Financial issues are are a factor in your love life right now because you're recovering financially. And then calling in your soulmate. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. And I actually want to bring it, I'm going to pull your Kipper card too, real quick. Libra, Libra, December 17, 18, Libra. One last card for Libra. <sighs> Interesting, same card came out for Virgo. So this could be Libra with Virgo in your energy, and here's the main male, same thing. Actually, same three cards. Um, this changes though, so somebody's walking away even if they're destitute, and that kind of that message came up in Virgo too. So there's a lot of Virgo Libra connections here today, and um, could be official person, because then the um, right after the poverty is coming out, the official person. So that could be that emperor in the read, and then there's the lovers. Wait, yep, the gift and the lovers is together there. The bottom of the deck is the mature woman. So that's the underlying energy. So that could be a mother, a spouse, an aunt, a grandmother, anyone like that. Or it could be your partner as well. And then having to do with work. And something of honor. Okay. I will fight for your honor, I'm getting. And actually sudden wealth was here. So there might have been some wealth that came in. in unexpected income, which could have to do with inheritances. And I think that's going to be it. So make sure... You take care of yourself, get rest. There's a lot of heavy energies coming in here. And yeah, the birds were big today. Hummingbird and the sparrow. So lovely messages coming in. And to get your water, your rest, your joy, your nature, and rise and be loved, guys. Bye.